Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we have a very exciting new video. It's a little bit of an experiment. I definitely consider myself more to be a Sims 4 builder, but I thought today we would have fun and cast. We are on episode two of Palm Sims and I thought we're building the houses together. Why not also make the households? Before we start, I just want to say a very big thank you to all the nice feedback and comments I got on my previous video. I'm so excited about this series and slowly but surely we will build up our Palm Sims world. So without further ado, let's get started. So before we get started, I want to give a little recap to anyone new who's joining here. Last episode, we started with the first apartment in our outer circle apartment block. This is definitely more in the lower end of the neighborhood, not with the mansions or any of the celebrities, but we are still building a very nice community here. Check out my previous video if you want a full tour of the apartment block. Basically, we worked on the Hill family. This is Sharon and her son, Lawrence. I read a really nice comment which suggested we get a kitten for them, which I thought was a really nice idea. I think the storyline is that Sharon bought Lauren's little kitten just to teach him responsibilities. So I just added in a few cat props, toys, and food. But today we are working on this apartment. So we have two bedrooms here, a really large communal space, and a bathroom. I kind of already have an idea of what I want the storyline to be. I think I want two roommates, both friends, both creatives, working hard to break into Palm Sims. So I think I want one of them to be more musical, so maybe a DJ. And then we'll have the other one working in social media, maybe a YouTuber. I think that way we can play around with different props in their bedrooms. So let's head on over to Cass. Okay, so I wanna make two housemates, both friends, I want them both to be young adults, female. I think I want one to be of a Japanese heritage. Maybe we'll do the DJ. And I think it's really interesting that she pulls in some of her cultural influences into her music. I think that would be really fun. Maybe let's start with her. Personally, I never know what accent to use for them. Not that it makes much of a difference. So let's give her an aspiration. Definitely something either creative in music or I kind of want her to be a little bit of a party animal. I think I want both of them to be party animals, actually. So the DJ, definitely, I want to make her super fun. I want to give her a really interesting, unique personal style, like really creative makeup. And then for our YouTuber, not as crazy, but still very much um, a party girl. So maybe popularity. Party animal, friend of the world, world famous celebrity. I think we'll have the DJ be the party animal, and then we'll have the YouTuber be the world famous celebrity. So party animal, we want her to be musical, music lover, then definitely a dance machine. We need one more. Ooh, ambitious. Yeah, let's make them both super ambitious. Okay, so, all right, so I want to make her of Japanese heritage. So let's change the skin color. Something. Ooh, that's beautiful. Oh, yes. I never get it right the first time. Let's give her no hair. Does anyone else make their sims bald whilst they're working on the features? I just find hair to be distracting. I also have this habit of just randomizing features until I find one that I like because there are so many options, I get very indecisive. Also, do you want to know something that I just discovered really recently? You can change the size of their pupils. You can change the size of their iris. Look how crazy that is. Let's just give her normal size iris. All right, sorry, I've just spent about 10 minutes playing around with the features on her face. But I think we need to change the eyebrows now. They're throwing me off a little bit. I think I want to use some custom content eyebrows. That's nice. Oh, should we do bigger? Or this and flatten them out. Maybe this, but I want them slightly more arch. That and then also, yes, that's perfect. That's exactly what I had in mind for her. Yep, happy with that. Job done. Do we want any skin details? I think I want a freckle or a mole somewhere. Should we do it down here or up there? I think up there. Yeah, let's keep that there. All right, for hair, I have many great hair options, but I think I want to do something long, black, and I think I want it tied up, either in like braids or little pigtails. I think having her hair in braids or in an updo just makes sense for her lifestyle. Something like this I think is cute. With a little bit more texture I think would be nice. <gasps> Ooh, is there a black? Yes, I really like that. Oh my God. I swear I didn't plan this. I just think for her lifestyle that works really well. Just that, like she keeps her hair out of her face. She's always on the move. So for formal, I want to do, I think I want to do those little pigtails or little bunches that we just saw. Yeah, that's perfect. 
think that's great. Okay, athletic, I want to do, I think she can do something in a ponytail for athletic. This is super cute. Yeah, let's do this for fitness and for sleeping, I think. No, that's cute for sleep. I love the hairstyles in Eco Lifestyle. Both of these are from Eco Lifestyle and this one, which I use all the time as well. For party, I think I want to keep the same hairstyle we had before. I think that should be like her signature look. And then we'll go really crazy with the makeup. I never do crazy makeups. So I'm very excited to do that. Okay, then for swimwear, take the hat off. Let's give you definitely a pair of sunglasses. It's nice. Or tied back, like, yeah, let's do that. So it's like loosely plaited or what are those plaits called? Fishtail. I was never able to fishtail my hair. This is like the most I can do. The, the, um, they're not plaits. Oh, maybe they are plaits. They don't go all the way back. They're just plaits. But fishtails, I wish I could do them. They look so pretty. And then for cold weather, I want to do a hat. So I would love to be able to do my hair in all of these styles. Oh no, we have to keep it like this. Yeah, let's keep her in that one. So we said we wanted a hat, I think, for this look. So we could do like a big hat like this. I don't feel like that fits her personality. I actually think a baseball cap fits her personality. Ooh, or maybe this. Ooh, yeah, that's fun. Let's do this one. And then for sunglasses, for this hairstyle, what sunglasses do we have? Oh, those are kind of nice. Yeah, with the tortoise, tortoise shell on the side. Yeah, those are cool. I do want to give her a bit more of like an individual, personal style though. Yeah, something like this, I think that's fun. Okay, now let's go and give her some jewelry and piercing. I'm tempted to use one of these, but I don't know whether to use it for her, our DJ, or our YouTuber. Yeah, let's do it for our YouTuber. Oh yeah, hoops are good. Yeah, I like hoops. Um, okay, and then for everything else, I think we will do jewelry after, once we know the looks. But before we move any further, I need a name. So I will be right back. I'm gonna go and brainstorm some names. All right, we're back and I've got it. We are going with Iris Chen. That suits her. I wanted something short that it could be kind of like a stage name. Maybe her stage name is Iris. Let's maybe move on with makeup and then we will do her fashion. For eyes, I do want some eyeshadow for her every day. Nothing too crazy, maybe a little bit more like smudgy, I think. Kind of like this. I think that looks really pretty. So for eyeliner, these are the ones that I use a lot, custom content. I think I like this one for her with the um, bright inner corner. I find a lot of the blushes to be quite orange, so I have to go through and adjust it. That's quite nice. And then for lips, let's do this one. And then I turn it down about there. I think it's slightly overdrawn. You can see it a little bit here. It's like the lipstick has been overdrawn, which I think looks really nice. For party, okay, let's get creative with this. What about this? Purple, green, ooh, she looks great with that green color. For eyeliner, I think she needs the same one just to tone it down a little bit. Cheeks, we can do something a little bit more bronzy. And then for lips, we can do something like this. I think that's much more wearable, not so crazy on the lips as well. Also now for necklaces, I want to do something, I don't know if I want the gem in the middle, but I do want a choker of some sort. I think that's gotta be the one. I'm super happy with how she looks here. Okay, so let's go ahead and do fashion. So what do I want? Let's sort by get together pack because that's when they really introduce the DJ career. So obviously the obvious ones are things like this. I don't want to do that top, but I do like things like this. Let's see what colors we have. Maybe we do this as her everyday top. Yeah, okay, we can do, oh. <gasps> Those are so fun. I wanna use those, but do I wanna do it as her everyday or as her, maybe her formal? <laughs> that dress is not her at all. Let's delete that and add these black, yeah, I think these flared pants are very much her. Let's do those for formal. Um, okay, what else do we have? Could also do track pants like this. I think this is her look. This is exactly what I had in mind. Like effortlessly cool under sneakers. So I have these Nike ones. Mm, I have these chunky ones. I think they're slightly too chunky. I like these ones here. They're a little bit less chunky. Maybe these with like a gray and an orange, I think are nice. I like that a lot. That came together so quickly. I'm usually much more indecisive. I'm moving on. I'm super happy how quickly that came together. 
Okay, formal. I definitely don't want it to be formal by any means. Like, we, she wouldn't be wearing, like, she wouldn't be caught dead in that dress, for example. So, for tops. Ooh, I love this top. Oh, maybe that's her. And we have some really fun patterns here. Hang on, like, something like this. I think that's really cool. It's a little too matchy-matchy for me with the... Maybe this. And then we give her jewelry and some, maybe some like purple nail polish to match the earrings. That feels more formal. It's not formal by any means, but it feels more formal. Okay, let's go on to fitness. I see her in these biker shorts and maybe it's something neon up top. Like this, that's perfect. Or this, I think that's really cool. Yeah, that's, that's cool for her. Party, this is the fun one. Okay, I don't even know where to start with this. So we can do something like this. It clashes a little bit with her choker, but I like that it already has a lot of detail up top. This, I guess it would, you know, you have like those semi sheer um, top. This one came with Paranormal and I really love this top. But no, I think black would be more her and then we could do some really fun pants. Um, that could be an option. Take off those socks. <laughs> Oh, yes, this is perfect. <gasps> yes, I love this and it matches her, her makeup so well. Okay, yeah, this is one of my favorites now. Okay, I think we're gonna go with this, then over to trousers. See, even that looks so cool. Do we do that and then we change her formal look? Let's see if there's other options. <gasps> That's pretty. Let's try that and see what kind of shoes we could do with it. Yeah, I do kind of like that. Is that weird? I do like that they're different heights. <gasps> No, I just thought of something even better instead of those socks. Let's do the black, the leggings. There you go. It needs to be one of these. You can either do it ripped or mesh. Yeah, let's do mesh. Way better than the socks. <laughs> so let's do a quick recap. We have her everyday look, formal, which is not formal at all, but more formal for her. Athletic, sleep, party, love this. Swimwear, hot weather look. This is like, hungover style and her cold weather look. All right, one sim down, one to go. Okay, now we're on to housemate number two. So I wanna do an aspiring YouTuber or social media influencer. So we wanna make her female. Ooh, I love the piercings. I did wanna do someone with piercings. All right, let's do your aspirations first. I think we said we wanted you to be the world famous celebrity. We need you to be ambitious again. You're also a dance machine, but you, is there anything to do with social media actually? Yes, let's do self-absorbed. The celebrity spotlight is something they generally relish. All right, I'm having a quick browse through cast to see what kind of personal style I want to give her. I have a few outfit ideas in my mind, but give me a second to go and think of a name and I'll be right back. Okay, so introducing Taylor Gray. I just played around with some features on her face, skin tone. I have a rough idea of her hair. I want to do like a short bob. So let's go in and do some formal hair. I think in terms of personal style, I still want to do something like along the lines of Iris. So mysterious and edgy and slightly androgynous, maybe with a little bit more of the trends injected in because obviously she's an influencer or an aspiring influencer. This is cute. Like it's the same, but she's just tucked it behind her ears. I like that. And then we'll do that with some earrings. Okay, for party, definitely not that hat. She obviously goes to the same parties as her housemates so we want to do something quite cool and edgy like that as well maybe we do the blue version of yes that's what we should do the blue version of that hairstyle it's that color but this one and she dyes it when she goes out yes i want to do the same fun makeup but not as fun because she's not the DJ. Yes, something dark like this is perfect. And we'll lighten it up a bit. And then I do want to do something fairly neutral on the lips. Maybe let's do this peachy color and tone it down. I quite like that piercing on her. Let's go in and add that for all of her, all of her looks. Cool, so makeup done. Let's move on to outfits. Okay, I've just had a quick browse through the items and I think this is the kind of look I want to go for. So all black, little bit of color for example i love these for her something like this maybe we do this so let's stick with this for her everyday look for shoes i don't know whether she's a 
boots girl or a sneakers girl? Maybe she's a Converse girl because Iris didn't wear any Converse. I think I like something like this for her formal. It's fairly neutral, but I think we can bring it alive with maybe some jewelry. Party wear. I, wow, I don't even know where to start. Well, those boots are a great place to start. And then I want to find a crop top. Maybe we do this one. We were going to do that. Yes. Okay, then for bottoms, I think I want to do something high-waisted. What about those, the black of this? again or you know what I'm thinking you know what I'm thinking that's the one <laughs> Those trusty flared pants, we knew we'd end up using them again. I love the silhouette with this, with the puffy sleeves and then the flared pants. Oh, let's do a necklace before I forget. Oh yes, that's the one. That is the one. Clutter up those arms, bracelets. Let's do the black one. Yay, I love that outfit. Okay, for warm weather, I also wanna give you the sunglasses. So these ones, but in this color. I think I want you in shorts, denim shorts, maybe. Let's do those with not those shoes, but we already, maybe these cute black ones. Yeah, let's do those ones. I like those. And then for tops, let's do, actually I quite like this, more thrown together. And if we put you, yes, this is a Taylor Gray outfit. Maybe we even put a hat on it. I really want a hat to work. Ooh, oh, I like this. Love it. Cool, that's really, that's a really fun outfit for Taylor. All right, sorry, that took me way too long, but we have finally found her cold weather outfit. I've gone with this custom content jumpsuit and her Converse. So I think that's it with Taylor Gray. Let's recap. So her everyday look, her formal wear, athletic, sleep, party, which I love. I'm actually so torn with whose party outfit I prefer the most, swimwear, hot weather and cold weather. So here we are. This is Taylor and Iris. I think they look so cool together and I'm so excited to do their apartment. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. I personally really enjoy doing cast on camera. So hopefully we can continue doing that together. Yeah, in our next video, we will be moving in Taylor and Iris into their apartment and designing it together and everything. So stay tuned for that. But I also do stream twice a week over on Twitch. So come over and join me on there and I'll see you all in my next video.